士们、先生们，大家好，我的名字是 Smell c o o 这是我的同事 Patrick Huang。我们是澳洲律师，从 Rockwell l i v i e r 律师事务所来的。今天我们想给你们介绍一下在中国做生意的一些比较传统的习俗。China's significance in the global economy, but how do we know what China's plans are for development? And being lawyers, of course, the question is, how do we capitalize on this? China's foreign investment catalog sets the boundaries for promoted and restricted investment. However, a fundamental policy document is China's five-year plans, which are a roadmap for China's development. The thirteenth five-year plan will come into effect from 2016 until 2020. A significant amount of planning is expected to occur in 2015 in order to map out the key economic objectives. It's heavily tipped that the new plan will focus on deepening reforms and shifting China's economic development model. This model aims to deepen development, which will extend to provincial areas of China. So it's not just Shanghai and Beijing, but from Xinjiang to Hainan, Heilongjiang to Gansu, Xi'an to Hebei. There are opportunities, and yes, this was also a thinly veiled attempt to show off my travel photos. Tip number two: Don't get lost in translation, both literally and figuratively. Don't assume yes means yes. Yes can mean yes, I'm listening, and yes, I do like the sound of that. And sometimes, maybe, actually means no. In China, the concept of face or mianzi remains an important part of business culture. And to avoid disappointment or conflict, Chinese are often hesitant to openly say no, unless, of course, it's a clear no. Hey, I'm thinking of taking you to the Sydney Harbour Bridge. There's a really good pool there. Do you like to swim? Yes. Well, how about I lend you some of my bathers and we go down now? <laughs> no. Okay. Whether you are at the negotiating table or there is written communication, it's important to avoid open-ended questions. Also, employ a suitably qualified translator, unlike this guy, or these guys who clearly didn't invest in a translator. Tip number three: Here are a few fail-safe rules to follow when you go to a Chinese business bank. In China, business cards or 名片 are important. It is very common to hand over your business card instead of shaking hands. With a business contact when you meet them for the first time, don't get Japan and China confused. In China, there is no bowing. A polite nod of the head when receiving the business card is, however, acceptable. Don't casually flick your card to someone, or immediately put their card in your pocket, or find some way of discarding it, no matter what that is. You should have your business card translated into Mandarin, and when you hand over your card or receive a business card, do so with both hands. You should also spend a moment studying the card. There is a strict hierarchy. On round tables, the host always faces the door, and the guest of honor sits to the right of the host. Wait until you are told where to sit, and don't just sit yourself anywhere. Don't eat until your host eats. Always accept and eat food, no matter how strange it is. Pick out what is closest to you, and if you don't particularly want it, then give it to a person sitting beside you. Because in China, it's always more polite to serve other people first. Make sure you replenish your guest's teacup when it's empty, and when they fill yours up, it's customary to tap your first two fingers on the table as a gesture of gratitude. And as we get towards the business or drinking end of the evening, you are likely to encounter gambe or bottoms up. When you go to clink glasses with your Chinese counterpart, as a sign of respect, you should clink the bottom of their glass with your glass, even if it is a little awkward. So, what of the gambe attack? A gambe attack is when your host and their counterparts keep toasting you to get you drunk. If you are with your colleagues, then tag teaming is acceptable. But if you are outnumbered, your choices are limited. As a seasoned drinker, well, you keep drinking, 
but to get out of drinking, then it's okay to toast your host. So that brings us to the end of our presentation on China and what you need to know. We hope you've enjoyed the presentation and please tell John that you have anyway so we can enjoy a couple of gum based sessions with you at the IAG conference in Hong Kong. From, From all of us at Rockwell Olivia, Zhou Jin.